Finally, it has said it is said that all that is required for evil to triumph in the society is for men of goodwill to be silent in the face of tyranny. The brain crisis between members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, and the federal government presents us with such situation. The Senator representing Brano South Senatorial District, Ali Ndume, has asked government to resolve its disputes with ASU to prevent collapse in, of the university system. Speaking with journalists in Meduguri, Brano State, Senator Ndume described payment of half salary to the university lecturers as unjust and inhuman. He said there is no justification for not paying the lecturers their full salary. Jide, when we saw this story and we were able to confirm it and we listened to what the excuse government gave and a lot of people are still saying that it's not in good faith that you just they're just coming back from a strike and they've not even been reintegrated or started the academic session fully in most of this university and government is you know had to continue to implement this no work no pay uh, principle well i just hope that um speaker wajabia miller's interventions will not come to nothing because there are people in this administration who do not want Bajabia Miller to take credit for the intervention and the leadership that he is showing at critical times. The speaker has already advised the ASU guys that look, don't um, be calm. The president will do something about this. But we know that our president can be misled, and there are people in the administration who mislead the president on critical matters of state. Mm. That is their own work, for their own mm. selfishness and, mm. uh, and uh, elephant-sized ego <laughs> to be massaged. Mm. This is what they do. Now, Ndume is saying, what are we even talking about? That if you are saying there's no money, part of the money that you spend on us as members of the National Assembly, mm. take some of it, pay us allowances for the time that we sit, he said, after all, we don't sit every day. Mm -hmm. Pay us allowances for well, the time that we this, sit, and then pay these people. Mm -hmm. Giving the impression that the deal that Jonathan, I mean, it's not Jonathan, uh, Yaradwa signed, is a, a kind of deal that cannot be realized. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. What is just a little over a trillion that you can pay over a long period? Yes. Nobody is saying bring all the money today. You yes, are now making sure. it look like it's an impossible uh, condition to meet. And we are leaving the universities in the state in which they are. Even Unilag has, has uh, reified in terms mm -hmm. of class that mm -hmm. it is. I was there last week. Some, mm -hmm. some buildings are already looking mm -hmm. old and needing a, a coat mm -hmm. of paint. Mm -hmm. Some buildings are already looking very old. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot worse in mm -hmm. some of the universities. Uh, Unilag probably has the, the richest alumni mm -hmm. In the country, they can fund a lot of what is going on in the school. But others that don't have, and they require funding. So the one, the uh, one point two uh, trillion uh, that uh, they are saying they should spend on infrastructure to freshen up infrastructure. No one can tell me that is a uh, um, is a demand that is unrealizable. Over a long period, the same country that is prepared to spend six point five trillion on a, on a subsidy, subsidy that is homongous, that mm. is largely doctored. Mm. So Ndume is saying, even if it means that the National Assembly will reduce sitting allowances or be paid on, uh, paid on casual allowances basis whenever they sit at the lower and upper chambers mm. by cutting the recurrent expenditure in the budget of the federal lawmakers, so be it. Now, he also said that we only assemble twice a week or so in a week and get paid. He said, why will the federal government cut university lecturer salaries? Because they went on a legitimate strike. Constitutionally, they are fighting for their rights and privileges. This is a national lawmaker mm. saying this.
that look, when you go on strike, you are fighting for your rights. It's not a, a new thing for people to go on strike. And we are saying that this thing was personalized. People have gone on strike before that you paid. Mm -hmm. You should not be victimized. NME, I said NME, and re resident doctors, because. they went on strike. You paid them. ASU's case is even different because the time lost. And so there is always a school calendar. Yes. There are a the number of weeks that you must complete in school mm -hmm. before a semester can end, mm -hmm. before you can start your examination. And that time that was lost, you will come back when you resume. You know, in the past, uh, when they go on strike, they just come out and mm -hmm. do exam. Mm -hmm. But it changed. Mm -hmm. I think it was uh, Jubril Amino that said, no, this will not happen. Whatever time, because in those days, students will go on riot, they will close school. When they come, they will come and do exam. Mm -hmm. Jubril Amino said, no, that time that you need to spend before you can complete your university education, you must spend it. So when you come back, classes resume. The number of weeks that you must spend before a semester is deemed to have ended, you have to spend it. So which means that those lecturers, even for the time that they were not in school, they will still work. They will still have to do the work that they didn't do. Secondly, some of them were uh, even, um, they were... Um, they had postgraduate students that they were supervising. supervising. Mm -hmm. Those ones, the, during, during the strike, those, they were still supervising them. Yes. Some of them were attending conferences. Mm -hmm. At any time, even during that strike, if you go to Unilag, you see the place always heaving with activities. Mm -hmm. It's because the job of the lecturer is not simply to teach. It doesn't end at teaching. Yeah. His job research. is also research, research. Uh, attending conferences and all that. So, even during that time of the strike, Unilag Senate. Mm. That was when the they, that was the when they sat the and new even VC. appointed a new VC. Mm. So these things, I just don't understand why Asu's case had to be different. Now, there was something that I stumbled on before I, I, I ran up. During the budget defense, one lawmaker, Agundi from Kano, said research institutes in our mm. country, they listed those research institutes, Academic Staff Union of Research Institutions, Asuri, Senior Staff Association, Non-Academic Staff Union of those, those research institutions. They've been on strike for 13 months, Ayo. 13? Yes. You know people were saying, oh, research institutions mm -hmm. are on strike, you are paying them. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? They expended their budget for this year. So the lawmakers were saying, ah, you people no, have been on strike for 30 like months, yet you have yeah. expended yeah. your budget. Yes. They were paying them throughout, paying salaries, paying everything. Are, they, uh, are those uh, people working in the research institutes, are they better than yeah. ASU people? Yeah. And what are the demands that they are making? They say months. improve our, our uh, welfare. Then let us be able to benefit from third fund in terms of research grant and all that. And they've been on strike for 13 months. Mm -hmm. How did you even allow people to stay on strike for that long? So and then during the period, you English are English paying English them English. salary. Exactly. But it came to us who you said you will not pay. You are making us be, uh, think that, oh, you respect the law, you obey the law. Law that you bend the way you like, mm -hmm. that you apply just the way you like. Mm -hmm. If you can leave people to not work for 13 months and you pay them, the man is even saying, ah, during the COVID, people who are staying at home, they were not working, and you paid. Mm -hmm. So if the law was to ensure that nobody should be paid if it didn't work, why did you pay people during mm -hmm. COVID when they were sitting in their houses? So yeah, it's, so, it's a big irony that um, this will be happening immediately after eight months of, of strike. Already the academic calendar for this year is, is, has been tampered with. So we are facing the prospect of these guys coming back and they might resume their strike again. First and foremost, I, I have to commend Senator Ndume uh, for that intervention. He's the chairman of one of the committees no, in the military. Army. Mm. Army. He's not even involved in education. That is one. Secondly, I hope his colleagues will come after him 
for speaking truth to well, power. Just, uh, <laughs> so so no, was yes, yes, they suspended. So mm -hmm. you always know that he will speak truth to power, irrespective of. But my own personal, my opinion is that I think the Minister of Labour has a personal grudge, or it has, I, I don't know how to put it, in this each issue uh, as a concise as And the way it's going, mark it. Dr. Chris Ngige may go down as the worst Minister of Labour that Nigeria, Nigeria ever has since 1960. Because I don't know what his problem. Mm. He is the one, he was quick to come out to defend why Asu was paid half salary. The question you ask him, Chris Ngige, even as a minister, does he go to work every day? When you go to his office, at the secretary or whatever his office, is he there every minute? That is one. Two, you also now ask yourself, the minister of education, I've not heard from him, I've not had a single statement. Maybe you can, you can bear with it. Whether he has issued a statement since this issue of her salary has been... Has so been everyone saved. knows that he wanted them to be so, paid. So, mm. He wanted them to be paid, so, so it's not his fault. Then, more so, we also have a minister of state for education. Mm. If, you, if, you, if you get my logic and okay. see where I'm going... And those are the employers and of those are the the employ that you, lecturers. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So those are the employers of lecturers because mm. minister of state also, who was recently appointed... Mm. This. He has not been able to say much. I remember when he was going around and there were some issues that he, he some statement he made some few weeks ago that everybody was. But the fact remains is that these are people you have not paid salaries for eight months. Hmm. If they decide that, first of all, pay me, pay us the eight month salary before we go back to work, despite the fact that the court said they must go back, how will we be able to solve that? There are instances. I remember the days of Anderson Oshimali. When uh, uh, the court, uh, what's this court? Uh, uh, the court, court mm. give directive. They disobeyed. They disobeyed it. They disobeyed. They disobeyed that and the head was never Through a of justice. And the head was never. Yes, they disobeyed it. I remember that vividly. Nothing happened. So, as in itself, in as much as, as a graduate of the last strike in 2017 yes. or so, the uh, industrial court yeah. said uh, uh, the NSC should not. Uh, Go on, go on strike. They, they, they went, they went strike. on strike. They disobeyed. They disobeyed. Is it but today in, that they've been disobeyed? So, but in good faith, Asu decided to go back because, one, for the court, and also because of the cry of Nigerians. And that is what we've always said time and time. Now. Except we start making our political um, leaders to have their children in these schools. This is let us put it in, if we can, put, the so part of our amendment we made, if we can have it, that let them, let their children be. Every day you see them posing on uh, Twitter, yeah. posing on Facebook, mm. Mm. the graduation, the graduation yeah, in America, yeah. mm. in London. Mm. They, are they are not even ashamed. They are not ashamed. They are not even ashamed. You left the schools. You left the schools. But, but you are happy to, happy show, happy to show pictures of, of yourself and, and your family where they graduate. Yeah. Go viral. What, what, do, you think what do you think you are doing? So those are the issues. So most often they are not. I just look at it and say, this cannot be that. Did God specifically? Give give children actually, actually withdrew his children. No, he says he's going to school here. But how many, of his, how, many how many of his colleagues? How many of his colleagues allowed their children to go to school? You know that that's why that is now okay. as a comment the House of Representatives speaker. But I you have, know that there was a, a, I have also a Dr. Feature. Grace calling us from Port Harcourt. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Yes, go ahead. I just wanted to make a comment about this. Uh, uh, as to something. Go ahead, please. The the role in Gige is playing because uh, in this accident or so, when they raised this matter of somebody was proposing a deal for no work, no pay, Gige was the first person to oppose it. When he was a senator. When he was a senator. I, when he was a senator. Yes. I don't know why. He opposed it. Uh, now. It's against. It's against. So, I don't know. Okay. Okay. No, I wasn't well aware of that. <laughs> yes. Mm. Thank you for your contribution. So, well, look for the story. Mm. So, so the, you opposed it that time, but today, now that he, uh, the issue is on that the That is why I issue. said he has taken it personal. He's personal. And he should, he's, he's taking it personal. It personal. Mm. And it's, mm. not, it, 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 it becomes, it's becoming an ego thing. Mm. He doesn't have to do this. If he has the interest of both the teachers and especially the students, mm. look at the problem we're having insecurity. Mm. NSAS, 
the SAS issue that we had, we are mostly are mostly executed by students who were at home yes. at that period. Yes. Most of them were out of school, mm -hmm. so it was easier to gather them at the, at the uh, at Lake Toll Gate. And you saw what, what happened. They were not the ones that perpetrated the evil. But some people last we on that. Mobilized them. Mobilized and, and, and so we shouldn't be doing this. The lecturer should be paid. We are going to December. And don't forget when they resume, they said they had no money to go to the class yes, to take them. They said it now. Since February this year. Ayo. To if, you know the number, salary Ayo. To... if you know the number of lecturers that are leaving this show. No, some, now, some are even dead. If you know the number of lecturers, at least I know not less than seven that have left this show of this country. So my PhD holder, uh, they are going to apply for masters in United Kingdom. Those are not going to, Those are not going to Japan. Mm. Most of them are doing that. So many for mo most of the universities because this have, we continue to, the way and we cannot continue this way. Wow. Really? Okay, we we can't continue to decline uh, in virtually every sector. We, there is a need for them to listen to Senator on demand. At least it's not GD saying mm. it now. And and it's not CKN. Mm. It's uh, not uh, somebody in government. Government. It's a mm. senator saying, look, let's find this money mm. and resolve this problem. Mm. You can't be paying them half salary. Everyone knows that, that thing, except the bloody psychophants who cannot uh, actually think constructively. Exactly. Everyone knows that this thing is just personalized. This it's is personalized. not the first time people will go on strike and they will pay their, even during military yeah. regime. Yes. Mm. Three military regimes yes. who has gone on strike yeah. and they paid, they paid them. them. Why is this one different? Is this a, a military regime? Did we vote for a military regime? So this is and for them to have even obeyed the court and decided to come back in good faith. Mm. The idea thing is to say, okay, you guys, you can even make it a banter. Yeah. Ah, you this uh, yeah, 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 man, you are back now. You know, you know they, they, what is the thing? Everyone is fighting for his interest. Mm. You sign the memorandum of action that you will. Uh, do this, we do that. You didn't, didn't do did anything. Mm -hmm. So did they, that was why the, the, the strike was provoked mm -hmm. by government in action. How do you make promises that you will not fulfill? Mm. Sikian, I want to thank you for your contribution today. Thank you very much. For, for those me. of you that have been asking me online that why is Baba Jire dressed like this, okay. I told you before, those of you joining us, that you joined us in the course of the program, mm -hmm. Baba Jire has been honored by um, the king, that's the uh, Israel Majesty. Dr. Eze Chukwemeka Eri Ezeria, the 34th, as the um, Okulora, that's Babajide Kolade Otitoju, titled the Okulora on Babajide from that kingdom. That's the mouthpiece of the people. Yeah. Once again, from the backroom staff are saying Jide should ensure that he hosts them immediately after the program yes. today. We are moving from here. They've been talking about that, that, uh, 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 that did they not hold have it here. We are going to that time. Yes. The reception we'll should now it. hold in the compound of TVC. Exactly. So we say congratulations to Chief Babajide Kolade Otitoju. Yes.